I hope you all are ready to go. Uh, I'll count you down. Four. Do Alright. Three. Welcome to Toho Rock Maiden FC. This is a game by uh, uh, Dojin Group Capricorn. This is our second uh, Rock Maiden series. I'm sure with Rock Maiden. Uh, this is a standard uh, Mega Man like game, uh, which we have uh, eight stages and uh, a final, uh, final big stage as well, with great fights and such. And we also have uh, Rampy Jump. I'm supporting the current career, we also in the company of Tassoy, who has so far done a few rounds and bits of our thing in the game. Welcome. Yeah. Hello, everyone. So, so for this game, we have a classic. You know, we have a, we have a small name, we have a Tony Basta, we have the uh, uh, Yoko Blocks that everyone loves in the fun game com community, of course. Uh, is usually like a, a little other and, and uh, so uh, the one running as well is uh, speedrun of one person who a lot of uh, Mega Man games before so, so a lot of VOG series as well as uh, a lot of uh, fan games and a lot of created so a lot of Mega series as well as VFC currently running and uh, quite a few more so for this for this episode, we will mostly have the uh, people up to, I think, the perishable in mind. The boss at the point. With uh, more emphasis on the USB campus, because of the uh, audio. And maybe up to. Yeah, the game does not have any like real respective respective counterparts for the actual um, Toho mainline games. They just often take some bosses here and there. And now as is fighting the first boss, we have like Alice. Like the first time when she summons those Shanghai dolls, they actually don't do any damage damage yet to you. But runs right away when they start to charge at you, they can deal damage. And then, um, <laughs> and then Alice just like walks back and forth around the screen and it's very easy to deal damage to her. And that's why she's often considered to be the first boss. Also the artful sacrifice weapon that you get is actually very useful throughout the game. And also a very powerful one. And we will right away see the usage of the dolls in the following section. Some of the enemies in this game actually have a lot of health, so it's actually very annoying to deal with them because you either just want the damage boost right through them or just especially if you lack some special weapons then you just have to use a lot of ammunition and time to get rid of them. Uh, luckily some of the enemies actually don't deal too much damage so it's not that big of a deal to just damage boost them. That was uh, right, um, actually kind of scary spike sliding section. But I did it very easily. And also you got a free E tank as a reward for that. And here you can see how the Alice's Shanghai dolls um, like they will just home towards the enemy and when they once once they touch the enemy they don't immediately immediately disappear. They cause a slight explosion that has some kind of um, duration, so that you, even if you fire slightly too early, it, it can still kill the enemy because the explosion duration lasts usually long enough to be enough to kill the enemy. Uh, mo most of the damage rules that will be used will mostly to be bypassing spikes and stuff uh, and make little shortcuts. Although it does come at a cost in later stages where if you are just a few frames away of dying, uh, if you want to enough in the moment. Yeah, and now he's facing the boss corridor of Patchy. He, um, he doesn't have the 
weakness, but it's actually not that of a big deal. Patchel still spends a lot of time on the ground, so it's very fast to actually just bust her. Here. And the weapon that um, you will get from Patchy is actually very useful as well. And the game will show you a short demonstration of it. It's just a spin, like a combination of some kind of leaf shield and a metal blade. Like it's really, there's really nice damage when it, the blades are spinning around you, but you can also shoot them in several directions as well. It doesn't either use too much weapon energy either, so it's very, very handy for weapon to use, and that's why we get it in the very early part of the game. Yeah, it's like uh, Mega Man 2, where the meta Metal Man's weapon was just overpowered and used for to delete most of the bosses at some point, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was actually weakness of well, Metal Man himself, ironically, and at least for Flash Man and Bubble Man as well. And it's very good secondary weakness as well to use in those games. So this this game also takes some of the um, meta, I would say, from those original Mega Man games as well to um, con continue with the line of OP weapons, <laughs> we say at least. Yeah. For now we are pretty much good in uh, damage-wise. We're just looking for the uh, weaknesses of the uh, other uh, bosses, as well as optimizing some of the weapons. And getting those items like, uh, will be very useful at some point, because uh, there will be some pretty dangerous movements uh, that will happen. Optimizing, <laughs> which should not be that thing for, for a long time, as well. Yeah, the one good thing about the Bacholi's weapon is that you can already summon the shield in beforehand and once you step in the boss room and the boss spawns, those players are still spinning around you. And right when the health bar for boss has finished refilling up and when you are able to move, you can right away shoot a couple of those blades to cause pretty much immediately damage to a boss to make it, uh, things even slightly faster. We might also have gotten the longest name of a weapon in any game, which just also goes through uh, Rainbow's uh, character. Um, but yeah, Capricorn made some really good mixes for uh, in the FC games. So this one and the, uh, the sequel that we will see tomorrow. And the Rock Maiden series before that was more acting the Mega Man X, Mega Man Zero style, I uh, believe. So there, there was a bunch of differences be between those two series of games. Which actually the prior one was a good at that point. As fun fact, um, I was once talking uh, with another runner called Fran of 560, and according to him, he has involved with the game developer and according to that dev there originally was supposed to be some kind of item in this game like a broom or like item 2 or something like that to help with these vertical or like very long horizontal sections but in the end it never made it to the final game and we will see in later parts of the game in such sections where such kind of item would have helped a lot especially when it comes to speedrunning Another... So now we have pleasure. Yeah. The Sirenus fight is actually rather annoying because you have very ground-based weapon and then the boss spends quite a lot of time actually in the airborne when you cannot even hit her. Yeah. Open. In one hit away from, from dying at that point. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, everybody can guess the Cyrano's weapon, especially if you are very, very familiar with the franchise. And then the time hacks made. Also having the best stage music of this game. <laughs> I think I agree, it's been a while since I've seen the uh, play play for the game. It's kind of difficult to come up with a clear favorite among all the, the mixes that have been made in the game. Yeah, the, even for this an FC2 game, the soundtrack is very rocking, so there's actually not good or not many bad songs even at all. 
Yeah, this is one of the sections where such items that I described previously would have some help to make things faster, but you just have to take the longer and, could I say, more casual or intended way to get past some of these obstacles. Also, this game's Yoko Blocks have a global timer. I think they didn't, but in the Rockman game series they have, so... Sometimes you have to take such um, features into account while playing a level. I really appreciate the clockwork uh, uh, aspect of the, this level as well, with uh, Sakuya's watch. It's a really neat uh, design of the level. It's a, a bit of a kind of Castlevania with uh, the climbing of a crack level as well. Yeah, it's a good um, reference to it, and a nice way to recycle the original sprites. Then we have Sakuya in here, which behaves very similar to the Flashman from Mega Man 2. And that's why you have to time and position yourself properly, especially if you want to avoid that beam of knives that she sh shoots at you. Is this Sakura the same layout of Flashman, actually? Oh um, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Maybe slightly higher level, and I don't know if that's one step more, actually, but... You don't see too often, like, not flat ground uh, boss layout in this. A flashman doesn't either have a flat ground. And then we have the girl who stole the precious thing as well, which is the special weapon, and now we want to take it back. And the level is based on... Um, the idea or the mechanic is based on quick maps. It's yeah, pretty self-explanatory. In the early days of speedrunning, I remember Marissa's level being one of the first ones to be played after Alice's. It's if you want to go with the pure weakness order of stages, but Asnel has made some better uses with the weapons that he have gotten by doing the st stages in different order, so that he can make lots of smaller time saves along the stages, and not just only during the boss fight. Actually, uh, Snell, I think, only rotated the game for like a week or two, before playing the records now. Like, by a minute or, or something, he's like, close to 30 seconds behind his some of the... Yeah, it's 2 minutes, 2 minutes uh, PV compared to second place. Which... Just shows how good at Mega Man games the uh, better. Yeah, Snell also has like broke <laughs> uh, one time when he became more active with the other games as well. He like pretty easily broke my records into other Rock Maiden games as well, so. Yeah now um he shot a couple of arms. Uh, with the non-weakness weapon, so that uh, he could get a certain amount of HP for Maris and then using the intended weakness, the time stopper ability that will deplenish Maris's health over time. And it's about two thirds of the HP that the weapon only can take, but it's still usually faster than just trying to use any other weapons. So that's why you have to take some of the boss health down first before even using the time stopping ability. That's the same tactic that is being used in Rock Maiden 3 as well. Yep. Then we have the T pose girl, Rumia. Can we get some tea in the chat? <laughs> yes, post the teas. And yeah, so the good thing about the sh shoulder swapping in this game is that even if you use the time stopping, it's still switch weapons and quit its uses. Because most people probably remember when you couldn't even pause the game, then your time stopper was active back in Mega Man 2. So it's good that you can like cancel the weapon's usage by doing that. And then this section has very similar um, function and layout and plant man stage. You still have to shoot those propeller things open so that you can step on them. Otherwise you can just fall right through. And 
even that pit jumping Kizume is making things even harder, but that's not the because it's very nice. And with the standing door as well. Yeah, those on, Kizume on come out very fast. <laughs> yeah, much swag. Then we have Rumia, who often spends time in mid air and has not sometimes have to switch weapons so that he can dam deal constant damage to Rumia and keep on those iframes just on spamming. Yeah, to save pretty much a little bit of time. Fight. Yeah, it was a really nice fight. Well, I'm going to the lobby 8. Oh, he accidentally chose the same level, but y you can ex exit the level if you have cleared it, so that was just uh, probably a, a misclick, but it d didn't cost too much time, luckily. Yeah, just some strike menuing. Or maybe it's just like some RNG manipulation, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> maybe some new strats are being developed on their own. Yeah, that section has those uh, fairies um, appearing on the windows as right when you like have a landing between the spikes, so that's why it's very crucial to use the, uh, the dashing weapon. Kind of amazing. George Kiko, what was the original name in, back in Mega Man 5, where it's probably based on. The level of uh, flying and I kind of bumped my other way through the maze with a scuffing, scuffing on, going on top of the ground. Really smooth moving right there. Yeah. It should be the final section before uh, the boss. Taking some damage boost just to, to skip those two uh, chandelier, I guess. Probably. Yeah, it seems so, because he could skip the following two spike landers right away. And then we have Remilia, who is very similar to Shade Man. And he, she spends a lot of time in mid air, and if you play like Buster only categories, then this boss can take a while. But we are just like killing her very fast. <laughs> Yeah, you can see the menu, there's one spot missing that would have been for the potential item, but it never made it to uh, for the final game. And that's it with the, I would not say Robot Masters, but uh, eight regular bosses. Alright, so we might see some very dangerous movement because it's world record pace according to us now, so come back to Kudasai for this. Because uh, those last stages are very rough to, to do. Not necessarily the bosses are usually fine. It's mostly how optimized the movement has to be in those sections. Uh, especially when it comes to the third, I think. The third has some very dangerous movements to do. So we'll see how, how it goes by, by that time. Keep it the E tank. We are underwater, we have uh, some different physics as well as those uh, moving uh, moving platforms which are very dangerous to, to just jump as well. Yeah, you have to know which way the spinning wheels are, are moving because if they are moving in with the same uh, direction than you then it will give you a nice speed boost but you also have very little time to before you will fall, so that you have to jump enough early. And if you are sliding, there's even less time to react for a short jump. Yeah, we also didn't, I don't think we mentioned it, but we also have a quick uh, quick weapon swap as well, which is very useful uh, during during the stages, so you don't have to go through all the menus every time. Yeah, and then we have Flan Boss, which is, I mean, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm too excited for the upcoming stuff. You probably remember it is from Mega Man 3, but you really have to have nice reflexes, but it's a fixed spawn, so as no know knows how to pre-fire them. Yeah, you just need to avoid the tornadoes to not go onto the spikes. And as long as it doesn't miss the final, it's yeah, not I will miss but still, they are nice and smooth. Damage response, however. 
yeah, it might be like a second uh, also of us, so not too, too much. Even close. <laughs> always left is always right. Alright, let's wait for the Yoko. <laughs> I forgot about this. Yeah, this. I mean, the previous rooms are moving just actually matter because in the next room you have to wait for this current cycle anyway, so it doesn't really matter which way you take in the first ladder section. Yeah, very tight ladder grab as well. In the sequel, there will be some, some more tools to be able to skip some of these sections. Look forward to it. I guess so far, the run has been pretty much. Almost flawless. Not not a lot of mistakes. Uh, so they like very good stuff uh, going on. Yeah, there's no haven't been any deaths so far. Just one, maybe unfortunate or just RNG manipulation, unnecessary stage select after the Rumia stage. But who knows? Maybe Flan was might be much more pleasant for him. Oh, that Ooh. was pretty <laughs> close, but. Luckily he could fix that sliding direction to not fall into the pit. Yeah. Using the blade to just keep those uh, kind of pinwheels, I guess. Yeah, here, here you can see that if you ride and spam the uh, shield blades a lot, it's a very powerful weapon. Hmm. Final weapon. Yeah, one more right. Jackson, he, a, Yeah, it's worth to last down those. Darkness causing machine so that you can jump. Yeah, we don't need to be that in this. If we have three different clones and one of the plans are actually the real one. Plan is weird boss because she doesn't have iframes. So you can really spam all of your special weapons and or buster. It's still weird because at some times you probably want to use your buster instead than the weakness. And it, it can be seen on the following boss fights as well. And here as well, he, he, he's taking his time with the first stage enemies because these platforms don't appear any sooner. Yeah, if you have just best. damage boosted. Yeah, and it's in like. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Go, <laughs> There's some flashbacks from Mega Man 3 sections, but luckily you have the shield weapon, so it's not that much of a peak. I remember always using top spin for shots enemies and often just falling to a pit because I was misplaced while jumping to another ledge. Luckily you don't have to worry about shots things in this game. Ooh, nice grab. Take it for two frames uh, <laughs> falling. Yeah, that's very scary strat to do because you have to be ready for it right away. Then we have the similar boss fight for Mega Man 5 as well. Once again, Flan doesn't have iframes, so you can spam a lot of your ammo into her and try to get as many hits as possible. That was a very nice tool cycle one. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty easy. You have to shoot the, the pillars to make them come to you. Over platform. Also, that was our sections. I think he took his time, but that's very tricky and nasty to do in runs. Yeah. And. Well, the fights. <laughs> Goodbye, Pache. <laughs> yeah, this time at least you can see all the mean weaknesses for the bosses. It's Remedia, I think. <laughs> Sorry, you got the wrong one. <laughs> I'm probably just taking damage intentionally so that she can... I, I like... She doesn't, doesn't get stunned by the Sakuya's time-stopping ability. So yeah. without taking damage, uh, Raymond will be stuck for a quite a while before being able to move again. So if you take damage right before Sakuya activates the time-stop, you can actually skip the... Uh, freezing animation and be way quicker to be able to deal damage to her. Yeah. He's also staying close to the wall to reduce the time to, to go there as well. Mm. 
Once again, time for math class. Take up your notes. And then you can put them away right away. Eat those again. And the cheese. Oh. A roomy fight is very nice to um, show how useful the shoulder swapping is when you have to use uh, two different weapons on a boss. Sorry, these two shots. Oh, that's very, very, very sad. Yeah, still a rather safe. He has plenty of HP to deal with. It. And Alice is, isn't too hard boss to deal with. Yeah, you can just spam the, the, the game here. <laughs> very yeah. Then the floating flying cannon and its elevation will change according to yours and this is, was usually in the early parts of the speedrunning when you, most of the runners just used blaster instead. But yeah, it's actually a... faster to just jump down and use the actual weakness. Because the, if you would use the blaster you always have to deal with the cannon because if you would better to spam a lot of lemons at the boss then you would also take a little as little damage as possible. Okay, you took a... I think it took some safety help just to make sure that he can go first through without issues. Yeah. Alright. And then for the last last boss, let's see how pleasant Darren she is. Even though the Shanghai dolls will fall over the capsule right away. You don't have to worry about the iframes and just can spam and time will be now. Why? GG. That was very nice run actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think 26, 2618 uh, when the last shot was uh, got hit. So just I think 14 seconds behind behind the ball right now. Very very good run, no issue. The legend as near has done it. Jeez, there, uh, yeah. Any final things you want to say to the marathon before I send it to the transition? Um, yeah, so we will see uh, Aznel against tomorrow with uh, the sequel, or like the FC2. Uh, in like a day and two hours after. Uh, look forward to it, there's a lot more stuff in it. Uh, and if you are interested to, to, to look for the game, you can find uh, FC and FC2 on the other side. There's also, I think, an English translation for the, at least with the sequel, I don't think for the first one there is, but if you are into those and the original Rock Maiden series, uh, all of them are there, if you want. Yeah, the, we also have a, well, rather small, but still a Discord server as well, which provides some of the resources, especially for the official games, which have the patch notes and, and some patches, depending on which operating system you are using. Come on, GG's. jump for the game and make me busy for watching the runs. <laughs> Alright, GG's guys. Thanks a lot.